Hey everyone, my name is Sandu and in this video we'll be talking about drones. No, not these drones, these drones. As you might already know, I'm in my last university year and each year we have two big university projects. But this time we got to actually choose the project topic from a list and the project I chose is called Autonomous Drones. This is the biggest and most ambitious projects I have worked on so far, so watch this video till the end and you'll definitely see why. But before we start, pause this video and subscribe to my channel. It takes you just a second to make my day. Nice. Now, back to the video. Me and five more teammates were given a little bit more than four months to create a fully autonomous drone. More precisely, the drone was supposed to explore a room, find a moving landing platform and land on it all by itself. And we were supposed to do all the stuff from the very beginning. And that includes choosing and ordering the drone, assembling the drone, creating different image recognition algorithms for locating the landing platform, creating the landing platform, which is important creating and implementing exploration algorithms and many many more. So yeah, it was quite ambitious project, but it was hella interesting. I was responsible for different stuff in each of the three phases that we had. In phase one, we didn't have the drone yet because we just ordered it, but we still had to work. So what we've decided to do is create a simulation in Unity, by the way. And in that simulation, we were able to test different exploration and landing algorithms and landing algorithms and landing algorithms. How you pronounce this word? Even before we got the actual drone, which is cool, because even if the simulation isn't anything too complex, it allowed us to get precious inside about different algorithms before even implementing them. In phase two, we got the actual drone, which is cool because we were actually able to implement our algorithms. So in phase two, I was responsible for exploration algorithms with two other teammates. In the end, we came up with two algorithms for exploration. The first one is actually my idea, and it will remind you of a snake, because the drone actually moves in a snake-like manner until it finds the platform. The other idea was offered by one of our teammates, and it reminds you of cockroaches, because the drone moves exactly like cockroaches do. It will move along the wall, trying not to leave it for too long, and then it will make little trips to the middle of the room and then come back to the safety of the wall and that will continue until it finds the platform. In phase 3, however, we decided to try something a little bit more risky. The idea was to simulate an environment in which we then will train a machine learning algorithm to land on the platform. If you don't know, machine learning is when a computer tries to complete tasks all by itself by using the information you gave it. Our AI would train for millions of iterations to land on the platform. We then will take the weights from the trained model and try to use them on the real drone and in theory we'll have a drone that is able to land on the platform and that will be trained by machine learning. Quite ambitious, right? Well, I made the simulation, wrote the algorithm and started training. I had to change the training model three times before I got one that was able to achieve at least some result. Initially, the drone was rewarded only for successful landings and that would lead to a very, very, very slow training process. Second attempt was to reward the agent for being close to the platform as well. So if it was close to the platform, the closer it gets, the bigger the reward. The reward wasn't too big, so it didn't overwrite the successful landing reward, but it did motivate the drone to stick closer to the platform. That improved the results, but then I noticed another problem which I had to fix. So I forgot to add any friction to the moving platform, so whenever the drone would land on it, it would just slide off. Because the platform was moving, there was no friction, so the drone would just slide off the platform. And that would be considered as a failed landing, so that would interfere in the training process. That's why I had it fixed in the third implementation, and that's when the process started. There were 50 instances training simultaneously with a time speed 30 times faster than in real life. And again, all of that on my free notebook. <sighs> After about 50 hours of training, the drone was able to achieve some impressive results. Well, almost. You see, there was a small, small problem. Sometimes the drone would just die. It won't try to land properly, it won't even move, it will just land instantly after spawning. And I wasn't sure why that happened and I didn't really have enough time to fix that, so I decided to ignore that. Hey. Sadly, at the time the agent finished training, we had to present the project, so we didn't have time to take the model and try and implement it on the actual drone. But our professors were quite impressed with our results overall. See, at least from our research, we are the first team that did such a project on such a small drone. And here is why size actually does matter here. 
Other projects in the same field were done with a huge drone and that allowed it to be stable and allowed the developers to implement different gadgets on the drone without worrying about the weight. However, here we had only few grams available and we had to attach a camera and different sensors to be able to read the information around the drone. And that was a huge problem because the more weight you put on such a small drone, the more unstable it gets. So that was the main difficulty. We even 3D printed a camera holder and we had three different models for it. The last one being six times lighter than the initial one. So yeah, they were quite impressed with our results and they want us to work a little bit more on the report that we made and make complete scientific paper out of that. Ain't that mind-blowing? <laughs> for me, definitely. I would like to thank my teammates for such a cool experience, and I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to support me, consider buying my game, The Lightkeeper. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Also, make sure to check out my Discord channel. You can participate in events, streams, find new friends, and much, much more. So join and don't be shy, just say hi. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.